Hi, Nikki Duffy here. And here we are with the Choosing for Today show, um, week number two, the second ever um, show. So welcome and thank you so much for um, joining me live or watching me later or listening to me on the podcast. I appreciate your presence. And today we're going to be talking about money and power. Yes. So recently the, um, the founder of Access Consciousness, uh, Gary Douglas, um, did a telecall uh, called The Creation of, I'm just wondering if I've got it right, it's called The, the Creation of Money, The Gift, The Power and Creation of Money. And um, so one of the things he talks about in that is um, money as a gift and money as power and the power of money and um, where, where we misidentify and misapply money as being powerful rather than being a instrument of power. So um, the question I put in the um, in the chat thing is, uh, what is it you've decided money is that keeps it from being all everything that you would like it to be? So what is that? What have you decided money is that stops it from being everything you would like it to be? And everything that brings up or lets down, will you destroy and uncreate at all times a godzillion? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So that's the clearing statement and you don't need to understand it or anything, but afterwards, if you want to find out more about it, you can go to theclearingstatement.com. So um, what have you decided money is? Have you decided that, that money is power, that money is the power? And how's that working out for you? And have you decided that in order to um, be powerful, you must have money? So what if you are the power? What if you are the power in your life? What if you are the source of power, the source of creation, and that money is simply a tool, an instrument that you can use um, to augment your power and, and to um, speed things up. So money is a great, um, it's a great uh, way to, to make things happen faster. And, um, and money is a great, <laughs> just for some reason, you know, this is maybe a silly example, but, um, you know, if, if you're queuing in a, a fun fair um, or one of the, uh, you know, like Disney World and you pay for a pass, fast track ticket, then you get to the front of the queue. So, so you get there faster. So that's, that's one way that um, money gives you speed and uh and cuts out time and uh hi marina thanks for joining me so we're talking about money and power and and so back to the question um what is it that you've decided that money is that keeps it from being everything that you would like it to be so let's look for a moment at what would you like it to be what would you like money to be for you? And everywhere that um, money hasn't been what you've decided it should be for you, um, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate and let that go now? Thank you. And what could money be for you that you've not been willing to allow it to be? So, um, I wanted to share with you a, a little story about, about money and creation and, and power. So as I mentioned um, before, you are the power and what you choose, your choices are the power. How you choose to show up, that is powerful. Um, what you choose to, uh, yeah, <laughs> what you choose to uh, 
say and do and be, that is where the power is, the actions you choose. How you choose to be around money, how you choose to use your money or lack of money, that's very powerful as well. So, um, so I wanted to share with you a, a story about um, when, when I was growing up, um, we all went to church. So my mum was very into like the community and go to church every week. And um, so we went to the local church and it was a great community. And, um, and they had a project that they required a lot of money. Now, um, churches, so what, what interested me, me about what what I recognized from a surprisingly young age about church and about religion and particularly the brand of religion Christianity that um, was being uh, instituted in my local church was all about um, selling the promised land selling the um, you know, you be good now when you go to heaven, do as the priest says now and you go to heaven. And that, that was, that was my first, um, introduction to selling. And, um, and I, I had a fascination with, um, ways of selling and, and marketing. So marketing is about the way you present something. And, um, so, the church I was at and I was very good at presenting their brand of Christianity as something worth spending, worth buying into, spending your time, spending your money, spending your um, energy on and in, which I found very interesting. And as like a lot of churches, um, they, they, often had fundraising they were often they were always raising funds and whether it was raising funds for um starving children in africa or this project or getting bibles to china or whatever it was that was their latest um project uh there was always some kind of fundraising um you know money thing um that the church was doing and you know i was i was made to go to church from a very young age ever since I remember and uh and when I was old enough to go to um what's it called you know when you when you're a baby you have to sit in in church with your I had to sit in church with my mum and then I got to like sort of toddler um, three four age and um I got to go to Sunday school so halfway through the hour-long church service um all the children would um toddle off to uh Sunday school and in the early state, you know, when I was a, a youngster, they, they didn't have um, anywhere for them to go that was that was very um, that was appropriate. So they had an old church hall, but it was a very old church hall, and um, it was cold and it was falling to pieces, and it was it was really the, the building was not a great building. And you know we made do and we used it, um, but it was always cold and it was always you know it was practically falling falling down. And I remember how old was I? Maybe around ten ish. Um, uh, maybe younger, because uh, it, it took a few years. But they had this project and they, they wanted to build a neighbourhood centre where they could have the um, church um, functions, where they could have the Sunday school, where they could have a youth club. They had like big plans for this neighbourhood centre so the church could be at the heart of the neighbourhood. And... Um, and it was a big project. They wanted a big building. And of course, they needed big money for it. Um, and I remember they used to, um, they, when they presented it as a idea and the whole church would get together and have regular prayer meetings and, you know, all get together and create it as a community and for the wider community to, and, and the overall idea was to invite more people to church and to invite more people to their brand of religion. And, um, and I remember we used to get, um, 
updates in church every few months or so how the fundraising was going uh you know it was it was a four phase project and um and i remember being amazed because it was it was i can't remember the amount of money but it was an enormous amount of money that was required to um to even get it started i mean even for the for the architects to draw up the plans they had the land which was um just beside the church um but they they had there was an awful lot of money they had to dig foundations and all that kind of thing and you know they they each phase they they to have updated us on the funds that were required and the fundraising that had been done. And then, you know, they would achieve that, that phase and, and get the money and the work would start. And it, I remember it being very exciting as a child to see this, this project, this creation that had come from literally nothing, literally just a, a, a wasteland. Um, through to um, getting the bulldozers in, no, what are they called? The diggers in, the, the big J, JB, anyway, the, the big diggers in, <laughs> digging the foundations and then big fundraising to create the next project, the next money for the next phase. And then that would go forward. And you would literally see the um, neighborhood center going up brick by brick by brick. And it was, that was very exciting um, to see the possibilities that something could be created by everyone working together um, and pu basically pulling in the, the money, pulling in the finances, pulling in the resources to create this amazing project. And, and I can't remember how long it took. I don't know if it was five years or, or longer maybe. Um, but as a teenager, the the neighborhood center was open it, i remember the, the the grand opening ceremony and um and it was great and i used to go to youth club there and we used to go to um sun i went to sunday school i was sort of just growing out of sunday school when they um i think i'd grown out of sunday school when when it was usable um but that was a, a really interesting um physical actualization of um of a of of creating um and being power and creating money um to to actualize um an enormous project so so where am i going with this so what have you decided money is that keeps it from being everything you would like it to be so what have you seen in the world that created um, uh, reference points for what money can and can't do and what you can and can't create and the power that you can be or can't be. Um, the, I mean, the story I, I told, that was very empowering to me and it, it sort of sublim subliminably showed me that when you truly, truly desire to create something, and you have that that passion that get up and go and that determination to and and the um the ongoing uh well, i want to say sustainability but that's not what i mean the um continuity to keep going keep going keep perseverance there we go <laughs> to keep the vision and and keep moving towards what it is you're desiring to create that it can be created especially when you when you draw in the the people the resources and and that that um it's not just about money uh it's about you know currency can be all kinds of things it can be people's time you know a lot of people gave their time for free uh like electricians and and builders and you know some of them gave their time for free and some like i think the architect was a um a member of the church and i think he gave a lot of the services either for free and some of them for cut price and that kind of thing um in order to create this um actualize the the vision of of having a neighborhood center which is still there now and still provides for the community and provides income for the church and and is a central um uh unifying 
building and um, creation. So um, what have you decided that um, that is that what so with money what have you decided where have you decided that you aren't the power and that money is the power and everywhere you've put money above you instead of like the example i gave where they started with no money and as a group created and actualized the finances the currency the money the physical, the, the physical, practical things that were needed to create this neighborhood center, the, the physical building, and they actualized it even though they had no money. They were the power. You are the power in your life. And yes, when you are willing to be the power and step into the power that you be, then money can come to you. You need more of an invitation to money coming to you with ease and as i said at the beginning you know money can can be a um a, a way of doing things faster and you know a a way of speeding up the process whatever it is you're desiring to create um you know if, if you want to get from from one location to another location then uh walking is free um if you psych, if you buy a, you know, have find a bicycle, either it's gifted to you or you buy it, then um, cycling, that's faster. And then with a car or a taxi, that's even faster. And if it's a long distance, then an aeroplane, that's even faster. So um, using money to buy those, the facilities and um, those transportations is a way to, actualize things faster to get from one location to another faster but you are the power you are the one who is choosing that to move in that direction and then once you have made that choice then it's how you, you being in your power you actualize the the methodology, the the money, the bicycle, the you know the train fare, whatever it is, you create that at, in order to um, move you towards your target, to move you towards it, whatever it is that you're desiring to create and actualize. So, what is it that you have decided money is that keeps it from being everything you would like it to be? And everything that is, times a godzillion, destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So, and where have you abdicated, abdicated your power and stopped yourself from being the power that you be? and given that power to money and decided, you know, to, to put that power outside of you into something like money and then said, oh, well, I can't possibly actualize this. I can't possibly have that or do that because I don't have the money. And then you're putting that outside of yourself. So everywhere you have refused and rejected being the power that you be, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that now, please? Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So in the, um, so this, this, uh, this show today is about money and power. And I'm going to, the next few um, shows are going to be themed around money because it's Christmas time and we're just coming into Christmas. And um, a lot of people have uh, money issues um, around Christmas or like money yuckiness around Christmas and then into January as well. And um one of the um, gifts of um, of money is is the um, sorry. One of the gifts of the tools of access consciousness is that you can use them with money. You can use them to change um, change things with money. You can use them to change the way you um, 
you be around money. It can use it to change the panic around money or the yuckiness around money or um, all of the stuff, all the weird yucky stuff we do around money. And if, if money's not a problem for you and it comes to you with ease, then fabulous. You can use these tools to create more or to, to, um, to in any way that you choose. Okay. So, um, and one of the, um, things about, so one of the big books in, um, access is, um, how to become money workbook. And there's some fabulous tools in this. And one of them is, um, is related to power. So, um, I'm going to read from this. <laughs> so it says, um, power is not sitting so everywhere we've misidentified and misapplied what power is let's destroy and uncreate all of that times a godzillion right wrong good bad pop pop all nine shorts boys and beyonds thank you so power is not sitting on top of another power is not controlling power is energy unlimited expansive growing, magnificent, glorious, fabulous, exuberant, and quick energy. It is everywhere. There is no diminishment of self in energy. There is no diminishment of self in power. And there is no diminishment of another. When you are being power, you are being you in totality. And when you are self, when you are being you, you are being energy. And as energy, all is connected to you, which means unlimited supplies of money are connected as well. So when you are being power, you are being money. And everything that doesn't allow you to be, no, perceive and receive that, destroy and uncreate it all, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, everywhere, uh, shorts, boys and beyonds. So when you are being power, you are connected to everything, including money. And that allows everything that everything you put your attention to, everything you put your awareness to, everything you're desiring to create in your life and pull into your world, when you are being the power of you, the energy of power, power is energy. When you are being that, then you are like a magnet to everything you desire to create and everything you choose to create, including money. So um, one of the things about um, the uh, How to Become Money workbook is it suggests um, doing a daily incantation of um, how to become money is um, incanting I am power. I am money and some some other ones as well which I'll go to after after we finish this um this show I'm going to go over them in um and, and we can do them together in the choosing for today free group free Facebook group um that's going to be the new challenge in there if it would be fun for you to come and join that um hop over to the free Facebook group choosing for today um once this is finished and if you are um, watching or listening to this at a later date, then come on over to the group anyway. We have regular free challenges, regular, you know, fun things that, that we do and create together. Um, and if there's anything that you particularly like to um, create around or to play with, then put it in the comments here. I would love, love to, um, to, to play with that. So, um, yeah, money and power. And if you have any questions, I'm just preparing to, to wrap up here. But if you have any questions for those of you who are on live, hi, thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or, or comments or anything you'd like me to um, pick up on and talk about, then um, pop them in the, the comments um, quickly. And um, if I see them while we're live, then I'll address them. And if not, then maybe there'll be a... Um, Thing for next next week okay thanks for the lovely hearts yes so i'm um, going back to um gary's uh sorry i'll just i made a few notes so um 
yeah that's that's all i wanted to say as well so um everywhere we mon going back to money and power and um so everywhere we uh money shows up for us and uh and we're like oh great you know we've got uh 10 pounds it's like well that's not 10 pounds isn't enough it's not going to pay the rent it's not going to pay this it's not going to pay that so everywhere you judge money as not being enough then you are uninviting money and you are abandoning you so every time you judge uh you're abandoning the thing you're judging you're abandoning every time you judge you or every time you judge money as not being enough or um then or you go into lack then you are abandoning you and you are abandoning money and you're abandoning the wealth and the riches that you could have in your life and the same goes for power as well every everywhere you um speak of yourself as not powerful um you go into being a victim or you make other people or other things like money more valuable than you then you are abandoning you and you are you are disavowing your power so everywhere that you have abandoned you and disavowed your power would you now let that go and right and wrong good and bad pod and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds and from now on anytime you notice yourself doing that like not being in your power instead of judging you and making yourself wrong for it um just just go and just notice it and acknowledge yourself for noticing it and when you do that it opens up the space for you to choose something different because in every moment you have choice and in every moment you can make a fresh choice every 10 seconds of choice you can choose something else and choose something else and choose something else and when we choose um uh when we choose like lack and when we choose to not be powerful then simply recognizing it that's that's a choice we've made can be so empowering and what if when you recognize the disempowering choices you've made allowing the space to empower you brings in more money to you and allows you to be more of the money that you are be more of the power that you be so what fun could you have playing with that and i would love to um if you have any things you'd like me to address in next week's or any of the following um shows coming up then feel free to put that in the comments i would love to um hear, have any feedback from you or any questions you have from this that would be great as well and if you've liked this please like it and if there's one person you know that um may uh, enjoy um what i've talked about here then please share it with them and um if you're watching on youtube subscribe and then you'll be one of the first to know um when i have a next video coming out so thanks so much for um for being part of this as well and i look forward to seeing you next week bye for now